Hey, hey, everybody. Squirrel season's opened here in Oklahoma. Everybody that knows me knows that a few years ago I declared war on them little boogers. See, I got a pecan tree over yonder in my yard. When that thing starts to put off, they show up in plague proportions. So when squirrel season opens up, we go to work on them. We've lived here about seven years. And only got pecans off that tree one time, and it wasn't even a real good crop. But let me show you what I got going on. I got this little feeder here set up that I put this corn cob on. Not really to draw them in so much as to just put them in a good safe spot that we can shoot at them with a the pellet gun and not, not hit the neighbor's house. But that thing sits at the exact same height as my son's bedroom door. We just crack that door open right there and it's raining on me. He'll sit inside and watch and when the squirrels come over here to have him a bite of corn, he'll uh, he'll shoot them with a pellet gun. And then we clean them and eat them. They don't go to waste. About Four years ago, I shot so many squirrels that we was tired of eating them, and it got to the point I was having a hard time giving them away. We, I don't know where they all come from. It's crazy. But when you fry them squirrels up there, they're kind of tough most of the time. There's a certain way we cook them that makes them tender. I had a buddy say, hey, you should make a video showing how you cook them squirrels. So we'll see if we can get some shot and cleaned, and, and uh, I'll show you how we cook them. All right, here's the setup we have from inside. We just gotta get that door open real quick. Let me see if I can get it done. Yeah, whenever you're ready. All right, go get him for the dog, Bill. <laughs> it's raining, so he's taking his socks off. He did. See? That's probably another one. That's the second one. Go down. There's another one up high. Go get the one you shot. Here comes the dog over there. He'll eat them. <laughs> Don't bring him in the house. Just show everybody and take him around to the table. All right. I'll meet you around there. The safety was on right there. He said he was going to shoot him, but he forgot to take the safety off. So he'll be back. Yeah, this goes on all the way till the pecans start to put off in November. And uh, chances are we still won't get a single pecan. Them little knuckleheads, they, they wouldn't bother me so bad if they ate the pecans, but as they start to come off, they just bite the end off the pecan and pitch it out of the tree and go to the next one. That is his third one for the day. I walked off to go to the bathroom a second ago and he shot another one. Hold him up here. <laughs> All right. Well, we got
got a few squirrels shot and cleaned and I'm gonna fry them up but before I fry them up I'm gonna make them tender let me show you what I got going on I just stick them little boogers in a crock pot and let them go for two or three hours I'll check them periodically with a fork until they get to where I want them and then I'll take them out and stick them in the refrigerator and let them cool off and firm up until I can handle them again and, and then I fry them so. Here we go. We got them out of the refrigerator. We're just gonna roll them in some some egg. We got a little bit of seasoned flour. Season it with whatever you want. Roll it in flour once, egg once. Do it twice. And just set it in your your bowl there. And you let them, let them brown up on one side, roll them over and let them brown up on the other. Okay. And when both sides get brown, you just take them out. You know they're already pre-cooked from the crock pot, so all tender and ready to go. And you just repeat the process till you're done. There you go, right there. You can chicken fry just about anything and it's delicious. Alrighty. We're gonna eat. So until next time, right?